Hey everyone, this is Will. Recently I did a review of Ableset. Ableset is a setless management app for Ableton Live. In fact, all versions of Ableton Live, which I love. Intro, standard, and sweet. Uh, it allows you to create setlist and create multiple setlist of a single Ableton Live set without rearranging songs. A really great app. One of my favorite features is the ability to view and control your setlist remotely. Get kind of a VIP view, if you will. You could put on a TV to see how much time you have left, what song section you're in. A lot of really cool things. Well, when I released that, I got a lot of questions from uh, you guys both on YouTube, Instagram, and on the newsletter asking, hey, well, how do I use Ableset? How do I set it up? I walked through some of that in the review. So if you're interested in just a short version, check that out. But I also created a use an Ableset with Ableton Live course on From Studio to Stage. So I thought it would be cool to share uh, one of the lessons from that course here on YouTube um, so that you can understand Ableset, how to install it, how to use it. So what I wanted to do for today's tutorial is share a clip from my use an Ableset with Ableton Live course. This is called Ableton set basics. It shows you how to install, get up and running with Ableset uh, and how it kind of interacts with Ableton Live, which is a way that I like. So check out this video. I'll be back at the end to tell you how to get access to the rest of the lessons in this course. Okay, so let's take our first look at Ableset. Uh, I've got a brand new Ableton Live set open and I wanna walk you through, show you the process from scratch of, of how this works. So I'm gonna open Ableset here uh, and I can click this uh, settings icon and do open Ableset in browser or just click open Ableset. Uh, and this is gonna pull up a, uh, a web browser that's at the correct IP address that is showing my set list. And we'll talk about in a moment how to view your set list on a external device, okay? But let's start with this. So first off, it says your set list is empty. Add some cues to start using Ableset. Um, so let's add some locators up here. And I'm just gonna pick some random spots of uh, parts of my set. And I don't wanna go too far because, um, well, you'll see why in a second. All right, so let's just add, let's add a couple more here. And I'm not routing the click so that you can hear it to, so it's to not annoy you, but uh, this way you can kind of hear it through the speaker. So now let's go back to Ableset and you see we have locators one, two, three, and four. Really creative names show up here. Let's actually rename these. Let's, uh, we're in a Beatles cover, cover band. So come together. Um, I was gonna say Eleanor Rigby, but there's no way I can spell that. So we'll say, um, let it be. I'm blanking on Beatles songs right now. Um, uh, oh goodness, I can't think of Beatles songs. So we'll uh, just pick random other titles here, uh, cover band of different things, and um, don't give up. All right, very uh, encouraging song titles there. So um, here's what we have. Uh, you could see my set list that's in Ableton Live is represented in this window. Even if this is all Ableset did, this could be pretty helpful to pull up on an external device to see this to then control Ableton Live with. Uh, but let's just talk about the basic controls here. First thing I want to mention, if I go up to Ableset, I go to this settings icon. I have autoplay disabled. Uh, let me turn it back on because I believe this is the default state of this. So with autoplay enabled, let me click come together and you'll see that this song automatically starts playing as soon as I click it. You see this little green bar here that's telling me how much time I have left. It's counting up locators or measures. So measure number and then beat number. Uh, and it's going to see exactly how, how long uh, we have left. Now let me hit stop. And I'm going to go back up and turn off uh, auto autoplay because I, I don't like that feature personally. Uh, I don't want that to, to happen. So now let's, let's jump back to let it be. So I'm going to click on let it be. I'm going to go down here and press play. And you'll see that it starts playing let it be. Now I could jump around. Let's do don't give up. I'm going to select that. Uh, but you'll see, let's press spacebar to stop this. It's going to wait to the next down bar, uh, downbeat of one to jump to don't give up. And the reason it's doing that is because this is all tied into global quantization. So right here, one bar, uh, it's going to wait to make that, that move um, until the next downbeat of one or, or whatever your global quantization is set to, which is great. Um, so again, I can select a song, I can press play. Uh, I can jump to the next song by clicking this next icon. Again, it's gonna wait to the next downbeat of one. So let's do that. You see we flash uh, for a while before it selects there, which is great. Uh, it's also gonna tell us the BPM of our song, uh, which is uh, really, really great. And again, even if this is all Ableset did, I think it's still a great, it's a nice interface, it's well designed. And particularly when we pull this up in a second on an external controller, you'll see uh, there's some cool stuff that can happen there. So now, uh, again, if, if this is all it did, this is awesome, but there's some fun things we can do here. So let's go to this, um, this pencil icon here uh, and we're gonna edit our set list. And this is the power of Ableset. So you see a couple things. When we have this uh, little hamburger menu that allows us to redo 
our song order. So let's make Kiss Me first, let it be, let's do Don't Give Up and then Come Together. Now let's save this icon, okay? Um, to get out of edit set list and to save it. Uh, you'll see it's tried to total up the total length of our song uh, is about 24 uh, seconds, four songs. That's my kind of set list, short set list. But what you'll notice is it didn't reorder the songs in Ableton Live. It just simply moved the order. So here's what's pretty cool. Let's press play. Okay, Kiss Me is going to play. Well, let's watch what happens when we get to the end of Kiss Me here in a second. Instead of going to Don't Give Up, it's going to jump to Let It Be. Okay, just one second. And then at the end of this, it's going to jump to Don't Give Up. Uh, there's no end for Don't Give Up uh, defined, which I guess I should define it here. Let's just add a locator so it can jump. Okay. And we'll go here. Okay, it's going to get to its end. And then it's going to jump to come together. Okay, so that's how I can reorder the set list, which is... Uh, Really, really great. The other thing that's nice about this, let's go back and edit our set list. Let's take uh, a bunch of these songs out, okay? And let's save and we'll get back. Um, so I can start on just Kiss Me. While this is playing, let's do Add Song and let's do Let It Be. You can see it's picking from um, that song list. And even while it's playing, it allowed me to jump to Let It Be, uh, which is really, really great. So I, I love this uh, Add a Song feature that's gonna allow me to pull from um, uh, from this list here, which is really great. Now, um, let me show you one other thing that I particularly like about Able Set that, uh, that I think the way Leo's programmed this works really well. So, uh, even with Able Set, um, kind of out of sight, out of mind, I can restructure my song, kind of move this. So we have kiss me and then let it be, I'm going to go to the end of kiss me. Okay. Is it going to go to don't give up? No, it's not. It's going to jump to let it be. And then I think after Let It Be, it's going to jump to one, if I remember. Um, okay, I like this because it doesn't allow me to get in a weird scenario where I'm in Ableton Live and my timeline in Ableton Live plays based on what's here. But then if I open this back up, then it changes. Like I, if I'm going to use a setless management plugin, I want it to like drive things and be the thing that's in charge. So let's go back to our edit set list here. We could delete our set list. Let's reset the track order. This is going to go back to the way it was, which is great. We could edit our set list. We could export it. Got this really good. Oops. Set list. Okay. That's going to export and that's going to save. We could turn around and import that if we wanted to. Uh, we could click uh, this to add a song if we, uh, again, wanted to add a song just like we did. Uh, and then save uh, to get back here. Um, now we could lock this to where we couldn't make changes. We can't trigger anything, which could be nice, particularly to hand this off to other people. Uh, and the final thing I want to mention here is performance mode, which is super helpful uh, to where you can play. You could see what song you're on. Um, you can click to restart song, which is cool. You can jump to your next song um, or you see how much time is left and then what song is next. Uh, and then how many songs are left and how much total time is left. Uh, this is a pretty helpful view. Let's jump back a few songs here. This is a pretty helpful view and I'm going to turn our metronome off one second. Um, this is a pretty helpful view to load on, uh, even like a confidence monitor and we can lock this here to where this could just be the thing that people see. Um, they have no control over, but they get a sense of how long a song is, how much time is left in the song and then what's coming up next, which is, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and so this is a, this is a really nice feature, uh, that I think is, uh, is pretty neat. Okay. Um, so let's get out of performance mode. Now we're back here. Again, uh, I could lock or unlock that if I want to, and then get out of performance mode to get back to host. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that preview of uh, the full using Ableset with Ableton Live course. That course is available to all from Studio to Stage students. Uh, to subscribe, you can click the link in the description of this video. You'll get immediate access to this course, plus every single other course we have on the site, 24 seven on demand access. You don't have to enroll, there's no start date. Uh, you just start the course and you're good to go. And you could take and work through that course at your own pace. In addition to that, again, you get Ableset, you get every single other course we have on the site, over 50 at this point. 
point. We're getting close to 60 courses. All about using tracks on stage with Ableton Live. All about using gear with Ableton Live on stage uh, to perform and to not be stressed, to know how to do everything you need to do. Um, and when you subscribe, you get access to those courses, plus 200 credits you can use, uh, 200 credits each month that you can use at the From Studio Stage shop to purchase anything you see there. Um, and you can get that for free with those credits. In addition to that, you get access to our private uh, student-only community that's on the site. It's kind of like Facebook without all the crap. Uh, it's great. It's awesome. I love the conversations and community that happens there. And then you also get access to a monthly call where every month you can join uh, with your fellow students. You can ask me questions about Ableton Live, gear, whatever it is, how to use Ableset. Uh, and that happens every single month, and it's just for from Studio State students. Plus, we have some exclusive discounts, a few other things as well when you subscribe. But again, to subscribe to that, click the link in the description of this video. If you're not ready for that, then subscribe to the YouTube channel here. I post a new tutorial every single day, 10 a.m. Central. I'm nuts. I never sleep. I'm crazy. Uh, but it's so much fun. And I hear from a lot of you that it's beneficial and helpful. So subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new content. We post so much content. Here's what I suggest people do. Get a notification on your phone. Look to see if it sounds interesting. If it does, click through and watch. If not, ignore it and you can watch the next one. Thanks so much for watching this uh, tutorial, this preview lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you're interested in the full course, click the link in the description to subscribe, become a From Studio Stage student. Thanks for watching this uh, tutorial. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.